Hi guys, this is Taylor. Today I wanted to share with you some of our most anticipated releases of the second half of the year. I did put out a video that was meant to encompass all of my most anticipated books from the entire year, but honestly I just didn't really have many picks for the second half of the year. So now that we're in the second half of 2019, some more books have been announced, we've been given more dates, and I have a few more books to add to my list for 2019. I will say I don't have a lot of fiction picked out for the second half of 2019. Um, I have a couple, but for some reason this is going to be a little bit more non-fiction focused. So my first book chronologically is a reiteration. I did already talk about this in my first video, but I think it bears repeating because this is one of my most anticipated releases of the entire year, and that is The Need by Helen Phillips, which came out today, July 9th, probably July 10th when this video comes out, but whatever. This is definitely in my top three most anticipated books of the entire year. This is about a young mother who works as a paleobotanist and in her line of work comes across a controversial bible that attracts the attention of a lot of conspiracy theorists and then in the middle of the night she experiences a home invasion where the person in her house seems to know everything about her and her family. I am so excited for this because it's Helen Phillips so I know it's gonna be mind-bending, it's probably gonna be bizarre, and I cannot wait to dive into this, hopefully sometime tonight. Next up on September 10th, we of course have The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. This is, in effect, the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. I am firmly of the belief that we do not need a sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, but I'm of course going to pick this up regardless because The Handmaid's Tale is one of my favorite books of all time. So this book consists of the testaments of three women living in Gilead after the ending of The Handmaid's Tale, which is a notorious cliffhanger. On October 1st is another book that I've been really hyping up for myself personally, and that is The Topeka School by Ben Lerner. I've never read anything by Ben Lerner before, but A, this cover, and B, something about the subject matter really grabbed my attention. This follows a high school senior living in the Midwest of the United States, and his mother is a famous feminist author and his father is a psychiatrist. He is on the debate team, and that really seems to be his thing, but it really seems like he cares less about being right and being moral, and more about winning arguments and the mechanics of that. But this is actually supposed to be about the social conditions that gave rise to the new right, and to things like... <laughs> trolls and toxic masculinity. So these are all things that I'm really interested in reading about in fiction right now, so I'm hoping that this is as interesting as it could be. Also on October 1st we have Blowout, Corrupted Democracy, Rogue State Russia, and the Richest, Most Destructive Industry on Earth by Rachel Maddow. And this is basically about big oil, which I agree is probably the single most destructive organization on Earth. Rachel Maddow only writes about topics that are very near to her and that she feels need to really be heard. So I think this is going to be absolutely infuriating and terrifying, but I have enjoyed her work in the past, so I'm looking forward to this one. On October 15th, we have Adam Rippon's memoir, Beautiful on the Outside. I did get a little sampler of this from BookCon, and I've really enjoyed it. Adam Rippon is one of my favorite figure skaters. He is now retired, but this is his memoir about his skating career and his personal life. Even just this, like, 30-page sampler made me laugh out loud a couple times. It's completely written in his voice, so I'm very excited to get my hands on a finished copy. Also on October 15th, I am looking forward to Music, A Subversive History by Ted Joya. I have read Ted Joya's The History of Jazz, which I thought was so well done, so I've always been on the lookout for new books by him. But this synopsis sounds particularly good, and I hope you don't mind if I read it. Histories of music overwhelmingly suppress stories of the outsiders and rebels who created musical revolution, and instead celebrate the mainstream assimilators who borrowed innovations, diluted their impact, and disguised their sources. In Music, A Subversive History, historian Ted Joya reclaims the story of music for the riffraff, insurgents, and provocateurs. So it sounds great. I'm really excited. Um, even though the pre-order price is currently $35, which is evil. 
on November 5th, we actually have a collection of writing advice from Kurt Vonnegut called Pity the Reader. This is apparently all of his writing about writing compiled into one place, and it's compiled by a former student of his. This might not be one that I pick up right away, but I'm excited for it regardless because it's Vonnegut. Also on November 5th, I am excited for Pain by Zeruya Shalev. I believe this takes place in Israel, and it's about a woman who was severely injured in a terrorist attack several years ago, and as the pain from this incident begins to resurface, her past love interest also comes back into the picture, and these two events kind of play off of one another. I also think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. My last pick for November 5th is definitely the one that I am most excited for, and that is a memoir by Carmen Maria Machado called In the Dream House. This is a memoir of a toxic, abusive relationship, and it apparently really plays with the form and what a memoir can even be. Spoiler for my July wrap-up, but I am currently in the middle of this author's short story collection, Her Body and Other Parties, and it's kind of ridiculously good. The way that she writes about womanhood and trauma is just so good and so effective. So this is a topic that I trust her completely with. I think this memoir is going to hit me like a ton of bricks, and I think it's going to be so interesting and so important, so I could not be any more excited for it. And my last pick for right now, which comes out November 26th, is called America for Americans, A History of Xenophobia in the United States by Erica Lee. This pick was also inspired by a book that I previously read by the author, The Making of Asian America, and the aspect of that book that I thought was particularly well done is the focus of this book, so that an irrational fear, hatred, and hostility towards immigrants has always been a defining feature of our nation from the colonial era to the Trump era. So another book that might be somewhat difficult to get through, but I'm still really looking forward to it because I have really enjoyed Erica Lee's work in the past. So that is my list as of July 2019. I'm sure other things are going to pop up as the year goes on because they always do. But let me know if any of these sound interesting or if I definitely missed something and I should consider it. But that's it for right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!